Polish government's done a great job. Duda's done a great job. The Ministry of Defense has done a great job. Specifically, you know, Boashak and the Defu De uh, Deputy Minister, uh, Defense Minister Tomasz Szatkowski, who is really uh, a, a glue there. He really understands the uh, the military complex. He's probably the most competent uh, Deputy Minister, maybe even Minister in this entire government in terms of his portfolio. He knows his subject. And I got this from McCain once. I had a meeting with McCain and we were talking about, you know, people in Polish government. And he had a lot of respect for Szatkowski uh, for the years that they'd gone back back and forth in places like Munich and Halifax, uh, the two major security conferences and defense conferences. Uh, so, you know, the, compo the military component of the visit, phenomenal, as good as we can possibly hope. So, of course, if you see some, you know, consider a Borsche columnist saying, oh, see, America doesn't care about us. They're idiots. We know that. Uh, and wrong, as usual. Uh, we're getting what we want. We're getting it incrementally the way it should be. The relationship's building. I do believe Trump will come in September. All these things create catalysts, catalysts for more positive action, more communication, more relationship building. So, you know, you had the Warsaw speech, then you had Duda in D.C. in September, now he's back, and he got all of these things, with visa waiver now also being discussed on the table, uh, for Trump is on the table. So. Uh, Trump can come in September, something that I'm urging everyone I know in D.C. to push hard on. And I know that our, you know, Polish leadership, both from the President's office, Prime Minister's office, uh, Foreign Ministry, uh, they're all pushing on, you know, getting Trump in September, whether it's, you know, September 1st on the anniversary of when the, uh, when the Nazis invaded or, you know, the, the second half of the month, the middle of the month when the Soviets invaded. Either way, celebrating those 80th anniversaries is a great optic for us. It's great ahead of the, the parliamentary elections for law and justice. Uh, and it's great for Trump. It's also the 10th, year, 10th anniversary of when Obama yanked missile defense, which polls remember was exactly to the day, the 70th anniversary of when the Germans invaded on September 1st, 2009 versus uh, 1939. Uh, that is, uh, you know, that was a huge, uh, as the Italians say, you know, thumbing, uh, thumbing their nose. This really, this is why Obama was a horrible president for many reasons. Uh, and Trump can erase all of that and own it ahead of his campaign. So there's a lot of, you know, positivity that's attached to this, a lot of good things. Visa waiver, again, is on the table. Maybe that'll get announced before year end. All these things are really positive catalysts. And, uh, you know, Duda was instrumental in this. Uh, the Georgette Mosbacher working with the President's office and with, uh, with the Prime Minister's office and the Prime Minister directly and with uh, Ambassador Peter Velchek in Washington uh, has also been instrumental in delivering a lot of these things. She is, uh, is a tornado of activity and effective uh, when she wants to be.